All right, uh, we're closing in at four bucks now. Gas now averaging three dollars eighty cents a gallon. That is the highest it has been since May of last year, and could explain, as we've reported, the president's tumbling poll numbers just out today. That does not surprise Republican California Congressman Darrell Issa. What does surprise the congressman is the administration's doubling and tripling down yet again today. For example, on green technology, Congressman, you're essentially saying, Mr. President, cease and desist, right? Well, absolutely. You know, the president wants to have it both ways. His programs have failed. The Solyndras obviously are not success stories. Well, in fact, he's taking credit for oil exploration on private land that took place during the eight previous years of the previous administration. Every single, every single well that's come online since he's been president was permitted under President Bush. Uh, under his leadership, quite frankly, we're down more than 15 percent on public lands and even, even down in some cases on private lands. And as we've held field hearings, we've realized that these new technologies that are delivering us new yields are in spite of an administration that's trying to cut it back. But doesn't it also potentially boomerang on Republicans, Congressman, if it looks like there hasn't been a coherent strategy expressed by either party. Now, you're quite right. Maybe you could say the Republicans have argued, as you have, for more drilling, and the president who's argued that, look, I've allowed more drilling, but I'm looking at these possibilities. You both had something to your respective arguments, but the American people still see those higher prices, and they might uh, turn on Congress as well as the president. Well, they certainly might, and, and in some cases, they deserve to. When we said drill, baby, drill many years ago, it became sort of a, a symbol of that's the whole solution. It's not the whole solution. Conservation does matter, and, and the Department of Energy does have a role in that. But, Neil, let's just understand, the president's solutions right now are f subsidized. They're $20 uh, a, a gallon equivalent subsidies that he's talking about. Well, in fact, oil drilled and produced and natural gas in the U.S. represents, and I'll just give you a rough number, if we were to produce all of the oil in the U.S. that we import, the input, the additional, they'd still be sold at market prices, but it would be over $600 million a day going to, to landowners in, uh, in Ohio, in Pennsylvania, in North Dakota. So you're talking about $600 million a day of additional revenue going into people's pocket that buy at Walmart, that buy uh, throughout the country. It's not just that oil prices would be stable and, and, and domestic. It's that that money would be here, fueling right. our economy. Uh, and, Neil, I think that's the important issue, is that you're, you're not just talking about a domestic supply that might maintain prices, but even if those prices stayed at $100 a barrel, imagine if $60 or $70 a barrel after lift costs all went in the pockets of American landowners who ultimately lease their land out for exploration. Right. This, administration, this administration under Stephen Chu, a good scientist, has missed the boat on natural gas. We're now exporting natural gas, liquefying and exporting it because we haven't taken advantage of that abundance, All something right, the Department of Energy needs to do more of. All right. We need to go to a break, unfortunately. That's why I'm interrupting. I apologize. Congressman, thank you very much. Mitt Romney, next. Thank you.